Ő Péter. Péternek van egy szép számítógép üzlete. Használt számítógépeket újít fel, majd értékesíti őket. De az üzlet hátsó részében egészen más dolgok folynak. Péter olcsó munkaerővel hamis Microsoft szoftvereket telepít a felújított gépekre, majd ezeket árulja az üzletében és a weboldalán is. Néha még az eredetiséget igazoló tanúsítványt is leszedik a régebbi gépekről. Ráteszik őket a felújítottakra és úgy adják el azokat. Így a vásárlók nem tudják megállapítani a különbséget. Ő Bungini a focista. A felújított számítógépek jó üzletnek tűnnek, sok vásárló érdeklődését felkeltik. Még a Banjinihoz hasonló gazdag és híres sztárok érdeklődését is. De amikor Banjini hazaviszi a gépét, nagyon hamar rájön, hogy valami nincs rendben. A hamis szoftvert nem lehet frissíteni, és így az összes róla és a híres barátairól készült fényképe elveszik. Amikor Banjini beküldik, akkor ott kőkövön nem marad. Banjinit nem lehet megállítani. Csak a bosszú hajtja. Számos kereskedő jár. A helyzet kezd egyre veszélyesebbé válni. Önkényeskedő celebek veszik kezükbe a törvényt. Mi a Microsoftnál nem szeretjük látni az efféle pusztítást. Ezért dolgozunk együtt a nagy és kis kereskedőkkel, hogy a vásárlóhoz olyan termékek jussanak el, melyek ténylegesen működnek is. Ehhez az szükséges, hogy a vásárlók megkapják az eredeti telepítő szoftvert és az eredetiséget igazoló tanúsítványt is, függetlenül attól, hogy a felújított számítógépet boltban, telefonon vagy az interneten árulják. Microsoft nem támogat semmiféle törvénytelen cselekedetet. Ha úgy teszel, mint Péter, a Microsoft minden törvényes eszközt fel fog használni annak érdekében, hogy megakadályozza az engedély nélküli, a fogyasztókat megkárosító tevékenységet. Szorul a hurok. Járja helyes úton. Hey, what's up? I am amazed by your stamina, you guys. I mean, for the last three weeks I've been showing you compass and basically how to make a digital 4th of July inside your computer, and you want more. I, I got some messages saying, I want my Linux distro to look exactly like Windows 7, I'm going, okay. And uh, I had somebody else ask me, what about Mac OS X? I want it to look identical to Mac OS X. And I'm thinking, I can do that for you. And it's a very simple concept, and it's called themes. Do 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 magically in the computer again. Go to your browser. We're going to go to www.gnome-look.org, and that is going to be just this huge collection of themes, including your Mac and including your Windows 7. However, with the dock, Uh, which is kind of like the equivalent of the Windows toolbar in Mac, um, you need to do a little bit extra for that. So I'm just going to show you what theme that I use. Slickness Black. I'm going to search for it. That's the theme that I have running currently. All the way down to the download link. And it's going to be a compressed file. And so we know that with compressed files in Windows or in Mac, we're going to have to extract it. And so I'm just going to save it on the desktop to be simple. And after the download is done, close the window, got some more compass effects for you there. And I'm going to go to the file where I downloaded it. And much like Windows, you can just use extract here. So you right click and extract in the folder that you wish to extract it. Now get ready for the fun part. Go to applications, accessories, and terminal. We're going to do some typing. And of course you can always pause and get a better look at the command, but what I'm going to do now is just kind of give you an overview of what it really means and what you're doing. We're using sudo cp command, which is the copy command, and we're taking all of the slickness black that we have on the desktop and transferring it to the necessary folder that it has to go to. If you went with a different theme, then you would just put whatever theme that you chose, and it is all case sensitive, so be mindful of that. And now I'm using the sudo chmod command, which helps change permissions. I'm logged in as Nixie, and I hope you're not logged in as root. And so I'm just going to allow all of the computer users to have access to this theme. So that's all the typing you need to do, and we want to verify it's there. So go to System Preferences and Appearance, and then scroll down, and it should be, yes, voila. There is our slickness black theme. Are you satisfied now? Really, though, now that you mention it, it does bring it full circle. 
the Compass Fusion that we talked about before with the crazy desktop and workspace switching, and then we have the themes to kind of complete the look. So we're super slick with our slickness theme, and or whatever theme we so choose. But I hate to disappoint you because next week, since you've been challenging me visually, I'm going to challenge you technically. And we're going to be throwing some command lines out there that, that you might not really know. I might not even know it. I'm going to entrust the Linux gods on that one. And I hope to see you next week. Catch you later. Bye. Hi, my name is Glenn. I'm going to show you a few features in Chrome Notebook. Recently, a friend of mine asked me to create a flyer for her because she lost her cat. So I'm going to do that right now, real quick. I'm going to go to Google Docs and create a new document. Start with a few basic details. This is going quite well, but as you all know, bad stuff might happen to your laptop. The advantage of a Chrome notebook is that everything takes place on the web. All your documents, photos, and settings are stored safely online no matter what. So even if you lose your computer, you can easily get back on your feet. Chrome Notebook is built and optimized for the web. It means there's no extra baggage that gets between you and the web, like regular PCs. So as soon as I start up my new Chrome Notebook, it boots up really fast. The computer wasn't in sleep mode, it was totally turned off. But it's already up, and all I have to do is log on, and everything is just as I left it. My lost cat flyer is still there, and I can continue to work where I left off. I'm going to ask my friend if I can put her email address in the flyer. Luckily, I managed to get a little bit more done. Good thing I get a new one every time. I log in, and it's all there. I was just about to put my friend's email address into the flyer. There it is. Beautiful. I'll open Picasa and find a photo of Tabby. And I'm going to use the online photo editor to crop the image. Traditionally, photo editing is something that you normally do in programs that you have to install on your computer. But it's one of the areas where you can now do more and more online. I haven't had this much bad luck in quite a while. So I'm running out of time, but luckily all I need to do is import the image of Tabby and share the document with my friend.
I'm guessing that ice cream is not for me. Here's the flyer, please print it out. I think I'm about to have an ice cream incident. That's it. Okay, made it. Hopefully I also managed to show you some of the advantages of working on a Chrome notebook. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Yeah, man.